All right, my friends, so this is why you clicked on the video, and it's me giving you guys some basic tips on how to lose belly fat, okay? We're getting into shred season. I'm cutting, I'm taking along my journey, my process to get in the most absolute top physical specimen, physique, form, body, shell, skin suit I've ever had. All right, so I wanna share this, these tips with you guys, and a lot of the clients I deal with, this is the things that they struggle with. So, the first thing is the principle of you have to be in a caloric deficit to lose weight and burn fat, okay? It's inevitable, you have to be in a caloric deficit. So the only way to figure out if you're in a caloric deficit or not is to track your weight and also see how many calories you're consuming on average, okay, by tracking your food. So if you don't know how to track your food, get some sort of tracking app, MyFitnessPal, RP Diet app, I think the one's called Chronometer, there's a ton of other ones out there, and basically record what you eat for several days and see where your calories are at, okay? And calories are comprised of protein, carbs, and fats. Those are what equal your calories and those are called macros, all right? And then we can get into how do we portion those uh, a little bit later on. But basically, you guys, if you're not doing this, okay? You have your target, right? You're trying to hit a bullseye, but you're doing it in pitch black. So you have to be tracking those calories. That is step number one, is figure your calories and then somehow get yourself into a deficit. Now I will say this, the easiest way to get into a deficit, guys, is by nutrition, okay? Not by trying to train harder, although we wanna train, okay? But the problem with that is we're gonna become hungrier if we're continuing to try to push ourselves and train more, right? We're very active, okay? Our appetite's gonna be very high. So what I like to do is just reduce those calories a little bit, okay? And when it comes to cardio, probably do things more along the lines of uh, low intense steady state, okay? Like walking, I love to walk, I walk a ton. And that helps me keep my appetite suppressed while keeping as much muscle as possible while in the cut and also keep me in that deficit. Now the second one I wanna talk about, and this is something that was super eye-opening for me, all right? Was I was consuming a ton of fat and this is like fat I wasn't thinking about, okay? So it's like, you know, we make our eggs, right? We make our food, we may put a little bit of butter, right? Or we think it's a little butter, right? And then we actually measure how much butter, okay, we're using to, you know, get the pan all nice and lubricated, and it ends up being a ton of calories, all right? Same thing what I was doing, man, pff, coffee, right? I was putting in a ton of creamer, right? And I thought, ah, it's, it's okay. It's just like the only one thing I do a day, right? Only. Only a little bit of a little slack here, cut me a little slack, cut me a little coffee break, right? No, that was like a couple hundred calories, right? So just by reducing uh, the amount of creamer I put in or just switching to a fat-free creamer, right? I automatically put myself into a deficit. So little things like that, guys, add up, uh, but really pay attention to your fat because your fat is gonna be what uh, contributes to the most uh, amount of calories or most calorically dense macro, okay? There's nine calories per every gram of fat when it comes to carbs and proteins, there's four calories, all right? So uh, if you're having excess fat, right, it's going to really uh, add those calories that could be better spent somewhere else or just not at all uh, so that we are in a deficit. The last tip, okay, the last tip, and this is something I was guilty of for a long time, okay, is the weekend warrior, right? So I would kill it all week, right? Stick to my macro, stick to my training sessions. It was just like a, like a freaking robot, like killing it all week long, that was me. However, on the weekend, right, I thought I'd have a, a cheat meal. Well, a cheat meal would turn into a cheat day, okay, or a couple cheat meals. And all that hard work that I put in throughout the week, staying in that deficit, I now just balance out by a weekend of cheat meal or maybe I drank a little bit too much. So you have to focus on keeping that routine the entire week throughout the entire prep. And there's gonna be some little tricks that I can talk about in other videos because the main thing here is to stay compliant. And I've said this a ton, I am way more of a fan of slow and steady progress than anything that's fast and extreme. Fast and extreme, we typically rebound really hard from. Slow and steady wins the race, all right? And it's also gonna keep you mentally sharp throughout the whole thing and not wanting to cave uh, or have any rebounds uh, with your, your diet, nutrition, and, and kind of screwing up your goals, all right? So, Hopefully those tips helps you guys with you know getting shredded for summer, you know keeping that body uh, fat down or as low as possible. Uh, or if you're just starting, you can implement these tips right away. Okay, there you guys have. It. We had some training footage. We had some tips on belly fat and staying shredded throughout the summer. Okay, follow me throughout my journey. Make sure you guys are one. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Zatstrength. Two, join the Facebook group The Iron Lions. Okay, on Facebook, just uh, put in a request to get in the group. We'll approve you. 
And then the other one is subscribe to the channel. Share these videos with your friends. We want to get to 100K. That's the goal. 100,000 subscribers, baby. Let's do it. The other thing, HD Muscle, okay? They're my supplement sponsor. Love these uh, guys to death and the company. They have tons of great stuff. Check them out. If you like them, cool, order something. Use code ZATSTRENGTH. If not, no big deal. But until then, guys, stay a lean, mean, strength machine. Peace.